for all of us as teachers, there's always two or three kids that we're worried about in terms of reading. And in this room, over the past two days, there have been representatives from every single district in our province coming together for one purpose and one purpose only. What does it take um, to ensure that we increase the numbers of engaged, successful readers in our province? It's a wonderful project that combines the autonomy and individual voice of teachers with the collaborative efforts of hundreds of teachers working together. The idea that this initiative is really focusing on strengths of children, really giving uh, teachers that empowerment to sort of what they can do in their classroom, honoring teachers. Um, professionalism. We've got new people, we've got people in the middle of their careers, we've got people near the end of the careers and it's that pooling of knowledge focused on kids that makes a difference. And I think this is a great way for teachers to think about learning holistically, to think about reading, to think about learners in classrooms. It's open and yet scaffolded and supported so it's got that perfect balance of uh, people being able to do what they need to do for children but also with a, a tremendous amount of support. I think that it's very important that we have been included from the start, that the Aboriginal Voice has been included from the start in this project and that we're able to um, invite people in and increase their capacity with regards to Aboriginal history and perspectives. What I love about it the most really is the fact that teachers will be involved in conversations. Bringing together such expertise from across the province in these amazing areas including inquiry, self-regulated learning, um, social and emotional learning, and uh, as well as instructional strategies. I I'm re-energized. I am very excited about something that I know is going to make a difference. I think this is um, a feeling of kind of coming from the grassroots and, and pervading the whole system and that's exciting. It's nothing um, but set up for success. And it's exciting, and you can feel the energy in the room. We need to know our art and our craft of the teaching of reading. Uh, we need to ensure that kids are having lots of opportunities to practice, um, that they've got just the right book, that they're hearing uh, wonderful reading by fluent adults. And uh, I think, you know, a big focus out of that too is not just that they can read, but that they have the joy of reading.